Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we're going to talk about the question maximum subsquare matrix such that the sides of the square are made up of axes. So the question is given a matrix of zeros and axes, find the largest subsquare matrix inside this matrix such that the sides of this square matrix are all made up of axes. So for example here, this subsquare matrix has all its sides made up of axes. So the length of the side is 3, so this one should return 3. It doesn't matter what's inside the square. It could be zeros or it could be axes, and we don't care, as long as the sides are all made up of axes. Another example is this one. All the sides made up of axes, but the length of the side here is 2, and the length for this one is 3. So this, uh, this particular example should return me a 3. So how do we solve this question? Yes, we'll use dynamic programming to solve this question. So here I have another matrix of the same uh, size as this original matrix. This particular matrix is capable of holding two values, uh, vertical and horizontal uh, length. So let's see how we'll fill up this matrix. If you see 0, all you have to do is directly put 0, 0 here. So let's put 0, 0, 0 for all four of them. If you see x, I'm going to put 1, 1. I'll explain how this works. Let's fill up the first uh, column. This x is 1, 1. Now when I say this x, what I'm saying is I've already seen one x on the top, so this value will be 2 while from on the horizontal I have seen only one x so this value will be one. So for this one I have seen two x's from top so this is three and I have I've seen only one x horizontally so this is one. Since this is zero we just have zero zero. All right let's fill up rest of the matrix. So again if it is zero we just put zero comma zero. If I see x, I see first value here is whatever the value is at the top plus 1, so this is 1, and for second value, whatever the value is on the left, second value on the left plus 1, so that's 1 again. Let's see for this one. Here, from top, I have 0, so this is 1, and on the left, the second value is 1, so this is 2. So it means that when I say 2 here, it means that there is another x on the same row before me. And when I have 1 here, it means that on the top there are no x's. So for the last one, it will be, since there is an x on the top, so this value is 1, so this will be 2. And since there is 2 x's before this guy, so this will be 3 here. Again, 1 plus 1, 2, and this 2 plus 1, 3. All right, let's fill up rest of the... Uh, matrix. Again, if you see 0, just put 0, 0. If you see x, so this x, there is 1 at the top, so this is 2, and there are 0 x's on the left, so this is, uh, so there is a 0 x on the immediate left, so this is 1. If you see 0, 0, if you see 0, just put 0, 0. Again, here, there are 3, three x's on the top, so this is 3, and there is 0 x's on the left, immediate left, so this is 1. Alright, let's do this one. There is uh, 1 x, so there are 0 x's on the top, so 1, and there is 1 x on the left, so 1 plus 1, 2. This one, there are 3 x's, from, there are 2 x's from the top, so 2 plus 1, 3, and this one is uh, 2 plus 1, 3. This one is uh, 1 because this one number is 0 and this number is 3, so this is 4. For the last one, this, is, this number is 3, so 4, and this number is 4, so 5. 0, then we just put 0, 0. X, so from the top, this is 3, so this is 4, and from the left, this is 0, so this is 1. Here, 
from the top this is 1 so this is 2 from the left this is 1 so this is 2 again and the last one from the top this is 5 4 so this is 5 and from the left it is 2 so this is 3 all right so we are done filling up our matrix so now the question is how do we find out the largest subsquare matrix such that all the sides of the square are made up of axes so we'll start from the bottom left corner all right so here we'll start at this point so here i will say i'll find the minimum of my vertical length and my horizontal length so that is three so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up three from here and reach this point and go uh, go left three from here and reach this point if my vertical is three here if my vertical length is greater than or equal to three which is true because it is four so that's great and my horizontal length should be also be greater than or equal to three here which is not the case because my horizontal length is one here so so what that means is from this point i cannot find three cross three square matrix says that all the sides are made up of axes so then i'm going to look for two from this point so here this is my my vertical length is two so which is greater than or equal to two so this is great and my here my horizontal length is also two greater than my horizontal length is five which is greater than or equal to two so that tells me that i can create a two cross two matrix from this side this point such that all the edges are axes which was this one so at least i got a subsquare matrix of uh, size uh, 2 all right now i'm going to do the repeat the same process for every square so here this is 2 cross 2 so the minimum is 2 so so minimum is 2 so the max so the best this matrix can do is of size 2 and I already have got size 2 so there is no reason to look at this one let's come here 4 and 1 since this is 1 and I have already found 2 there is no reason to look at it minimum here is 1 so the best this guy can do is 1 cross 1 matrix and I already found 2 so there is no reason to look at it this is 0 this is 0 so let's come here so the minimum here is 4 so what I'm saying is I'll go back four steps from here so reach this point I'll find the vertical length here so which is 1 and 1 this if this 1 was greater than or equal to 4 then we could have considered this but this 1 is less than 4 so we cannot find a square from here which is of length 4 so then we'll look for 3 so when I do 3 I reach this point and this point from here so I go back 3 here so this 3 is greater than or equal to 3 so this can play a role in a square matrix and this here so this number is greater and here this number is greater than or equal to 3 as well so this will also play a role so what means what that means is from this point I can find a 3 cross 3 matrix such that all the edges are made up of x because it's a 3 here it means that all the three guys here got to be axes and since this is 3 it means all the three here should be axes so it means that I found a bigger matrix subsquare matrix which is of length 3 all right so I'm done with this one so now I'm going to look from here again this is 1 minimum here is 1 and I already found 3 so it cannot help here 3 cross 3 again the best this guy can do is 3 and I already found 3 so there is no reason to look at it this is 1 minimum 1 doesn't help this is 1 doesn't help this is 1 doesn't help and yeah so 3 so 3 is the 3 is the answer for this question again we start from here let me explain again how this works we start from here we looked back we found the minimum here so that is 4 we look back 4 from here and 4 from here we reach these two points so we checked does is this entirely thing made up of four if is this entire thing made up of axes if this entire thing was made up of axes this number here would be greater than or equal to four which is not the case it is one 
And if this entire thing was made up of x's, this number here would be greater than or equal to 4, which is not the case, which is why 4 is no good. Then we looked at 3, 1 less than, which is uh, 4 minus 1. So we came at this point and this point. So if since this is 3, it means that this, this, and this got to be x's. And since this is 3, it means that this, this, and this got to be x's. And since that's the case, it means that this, this entire thing is all made up of x's, which is why 3 was our answer. If you want the full solution for this problem, go to my GitHub link, github.com, Mission Peace Interview Wiki. And if you want to check out simpler questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com, user Tushara2525. Thanks for watching this video.